Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about an interesting topic. Do you think Agile enough for a digital transformation? If so, what are the strategies that will help? Let us discuss this. There is an expression, it goes like this. Put the customer first. Not everyone get it right. but. There are companies who always follow, they incorporate technology as a center of best practices for their customer centric strategy. So they are the companies who always operate on outside in strategy. So what I mean by this, so all their departments, including IT, they work together to meet the client requests fast. Many other firms on the other hand, they also have an inside out, which means that they division functioning in isolation and pursuing their own goals without consideration for how their activities affect the rest of the company and the end user. Not surprisingly, if you look at today's technological powerhouses, they are the standard barriers for the outside in organization. Enterprises across all the industries, they're trying their best to achieve the results. And you are a CIO, if you wanted to cooperate with your respect to other C-suite members, you need to go and make them understand how better we adapt this essential innovation into our organizations. So there is always a real customer-centric business model will help to make yourself always stay agile. So let me help you with my thoughts around this. One, KYC and KYCB. Know your customer and know your customer behaviors. Very important. If you wanted to target your customers, you must first know and understand their behavior. In the past, there are a lot of companies, the way they offer their services or the products via third party distributors. That is the reason why they had a very limited access to the customer information. But if you look at the recent years, digitization has enabled more business to sell directly to the customers, which often results in a rush of customer data. So you have seen pandemic lockdowns, there is a boom in online e-commerce. These are all helped everyone to accelerate these trends. So access to information on the other hand is a merely first step. So as a senior leader or a CIO, you must ensure that your organization have respective systems and tools in place so that they are the tools will help you to store, analyze, generate real-time insights from your customer activity and as well as it also helps you to determine what your customers want. Let me tell you, no one has the precise answer of exactly what and where future disruption is going to be. In the meantime, what we can do is just invest in the incremental technology solutions that generates a lot of value. That is what we are currently doing. So if you are a CIO, so you have positioned as a very senior member within the organization. So ensure that you take the lead in the shift to outside in. So you always choose the right architecture and hire the right tech talent for the business. Two, tools. It's all about tools to address customer pain points. Customers who were used to trying before buying products, now they change their behavior. Because as and when the more online options are available, so everyone trying to interact much online rather than offline. That's what happened during the pandemic. A number of businesses, however, were able to meet the challenges thanks to interactive technologies. 
there are furniture retailers customers you know might utilize the augment reality to visualize how a couches and coffee tables would look like in their own living rooms beauty companies they started using makeup simulators fashion designers and merchants they wanted to recreate the feel of buying in a boutique with a professional sales person clothes and accessories were also featured in live streaming a sales events so the hosts even gave out a fashion advice and answering lot of fan questions so whoever business who follow this model these strategies they will be there in the game for a longer time even after the pandemic gets over 3 kpis measure your kpi so kpi is nothing but key performance indicators it's a most important indicator for every company success so you think always sales is the only successful measurable criteria for a company not certainly they are the lagging indicators because lot of other information is out there which is beneficial for your company's growth so companies they must develop this kpis and work out how to increase the performance on them and much as they do with the customer journey mappings so it's up to the cios to make sure their companies have the tools and data analytic capabilities they need to track those new kpis consider an example so there is a there is a company uh, who employs a network of sales persons so instead of raising the number of indistinct people and having high churn and low productivity so they may measure how many new sales people meeting the most productive profile joining the network and estimate the growth in profitable sales which you guys are creating so as a result you already have a process in place and you are tracking also from start to finish using some of your kpis which are very very important and significant for your teams than your final sales growth number right so always ensure the right kpis are in place measure your productivity measure your customer churning rate and see all the processes within your value chain must be improved kpis will definitely help for innovation and create a value to your customers if you are a cio you should ask yourself how better we will use the innovation to create a value for customers on a regular basis that is the utmost priority factor for you you also have your ip which is your internal proprietary solutions and you also have a adapting to the new technology that doesn't really coexist with your old systems because these two are major blenders in every company they wanted to avoid because they are trying to chase more solutions so what happens some of the businesses if you look at they wanted to build an ip right so if they are intended to build a proprietary technologies so that their competitors will be you know unable to use but the issue here with this strategy is it makes you to slow down competitors they are already prepared and they will definitely collaborate with third parties they are the one who can develop the skills much faster so what was supposed to be your competitive advantage has now turned into a liability so if you are a leader you want your company to grow forward and you want it to be more agile by nature so your legacy systems will always a kind of a hindrance but at the same time you should respect them as well because we were using them for a you know quite some time so replacing those systems with new ones can be always costly and time consuming activity 
so instead what you can do is you acquire a solution which will help you to become more nimble at the same time you allow your outdated system to persist so this is how you build a strategy and see how gradually you replace those legacy systems to conclude my thoughts around this cios are well positioned to spearhead this outside in transformation so they should hire the proper tech skills and choose the right architecture for the business at the same time their ceo counterpart also should push for employee adoption for those technologies throughout the company and also promote collaboration that cuts across silos this type of reorganization will be uncomfortable at the first instance but it will help your company to prosper in the longer run it may not be easy to bring the outside in culture but it's surely preferable to being left out in the cold this is a better way to transform yourself let us build a customer centric business model let us embrace outside in culture all the very best thank you so much for listening